All quiet in the House chamber now. After weeks of hectic action and an all-nighter, lawmakers finally headed home at 6.30 a.m. And I'm pleased and proud to sign this into law. A tired Janet Mills had stayed up all night, too, signing bills, including this one, to create new rules to protect students from bad loan companies. She said the legislative session brought good results. I thought it was a productive night. It was worth staying up all night to get a session tied up. And probably the last lawmaker still standing was Senator Eloise Vitelli, sponsor of the student debt bill. Some of us aren't used to pulling all-nighters anymore. <laughs> who said the session accomplished a lot. I think the budget document itself is, is a good example of how we came together and did what we said we would could, were going to do for the people of Maine yeah. um, on both sides of the aisles. But when legislators finally did pack up and head home, they left one big job not done. They were unable to agree on a new package of bonds to borrow money for capital projects. And that means they may all have to come back. Democrats wanted a $239 million bond package, but it got tabled in the Senate after failing to pass the House because Republicans wanted to spend less and just vote for a $105 million transportation bond. That didn't work either, and nothing passed. The highway bond is a critical part of funding for the main DOT's projects, and the bond package included other things the governor has been wanting, like expanding broadband. Mills could call lawmakers back for a special session, which seems likely. In the coming weeks and months, we'll continue talking about what we can do to get a bond package out in November. We're not giving up. I think people just need, needed a break. I agree with the governor. I think we'll, this is, this is a first step and we'll come back at it. But for now, the work is done. Legislators have gone back to home and jobs and a summer break. Until next time, in Augusta, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. Now, the governor's office says the governor signed roughly 400 bills into law so far this year, but there are a lot more waiting on her desk. Lawmakers also put off decisions on several hundred bills, deciding to bring them up again next year. Now, one of the bills the governor has yet to sign is one that sets up the sale of recreational marijuana in Maine. It lays out the rules for how adult use pot can be commercially grown, bought and sold. State budget forecasters predict recreational sales will be about $84 million in the first year and about double that by the third year. That would mean the state would pull in 33 million in tax revenue in 2023. If the governor signs the bill, the soonest recreational pot could be sold in Maine would be March of 2020. And among some other bills the governor has yet to sign, one that would ban drivers from using any handheld electronic devices, so your cell phone, while operating a vehicle. If she does sign it, Maine would become the 20th state to do that. Also on her desk, a bill that would legalize sports gambling at establishments in Maine or at online gambling sites. The governor will most certainly sign two bills that expand solar energy in Maine and address climate change.